You're watching Tag TV. From Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India is a spellbinding mosaic of culture, tradition, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides in the path of development. Hello, I'm your host Uzma Jafri and today in our episode of My India, we bring you some of the stories that will give you a glimpse of our country's diversity. Vishwakarma Puja is an important festival celebrated across India which marks the birth anniversary of Lord Vishwakarma, the divine architect. On this day, workers and artisans worship their tools and machineries as a token of gratitude. In Siliguri city of West Bengal, Mahavats worshipped elephants which is believed to be vehicle of the deity. Festivals in India are not just about occasions but also about showing gratitude to people, animals and entities of nature that God has blessed humankind with. Vishwakarma Puja is one such festival where Lord Vishwakarma, the divine architect in Hinduism, is worshipped by architects, artisans and engineers. On this day, workers take rest and worship their tools and machinery as a symbol of gratitude towards them. In Siliguri city of West Bengal, Mahouts or elephant riders treated elephants with feasts and held special prayers to worship them. आज विश्वकर्मा पूजा है तो एलिफेंट का पूजा किया अच्छे रहो बोल के एलिफेंट को बस ये दो ही एलिफेंट है यहाँ पे तो एक का नाम उर्मिला और एक का नाम लक्ष्मी है दोनों फीमेल है The mahouts of Bengal Safari Park in Siliguri town bedecked these elephants with chalk patterns as they drew flower murals on their bodies. They also offered a spread of fresh fruits to them. The first elephant is a 60-year-old female elephant named Lakshmi and her 46-year-old companion is Urmila. These mahouts have been worshipping their elephants on Vishwakarma Divas for years to show gratitude towards them. साल साल में होता है पूजा तो हम लोग करते हैं साल साल में और एलिफेंट भी कुछ फ्रूट अच्छा अच्छा खाने का खाने में मिलते हैं उस वो एलिफेंट को भी अच्छा लगता है एलिफेंट्स हैव बीन रिवर्ड एन इम्पॉर्टेंट कल्चरल एंड रिलीजियस सिंबल इन इंडिया दे आर ऑफन सीन एंड वर्शिप ड्यूरिंग डिफरेंट प्रोसेशन एंड फेस्टिवल स्पेशली इन दर्डन पार्ट ऑफ द कंट्री Unity in diversity is one of the most powerful thoughts that India has given to the world. It is a country where incidents of cultural harmony and brotherhood have been very common. A similar example can be seen in Gujarat where a Muslim man is seen celebrating the Navratri festival by giving Garba dance training to students and also worshipping Goddess Durga for 9 days. Have a look. India has left the entire country spellbound with its ability to be home to a number of different cultures, ethnicities, religions and minorities. It is quite common to see people of different religions and backgrounds actively contributing and participating in each other's festivities. As Navratri, an important Hindu festival is approaching, examples of different communities contributing in its preparations have started coming to the front. In a recent example of brotherhood and unity, a Muslim man named Irshad Multani has been giving Garba lessons to students, thereby contributing to Navratri celebrations. Momentan okay, Garba is teaching me, and I have had a lot of time. I have been doing this for at least 36 years. I have been doing this for at least 36 years. I have been doing this for at least 36 years. I have been doing this for at least 36 years. I have been doing this for at least 36 years. I have been doing this for at least 36 years. I have been doing this for at least 36 years. I have been उसमें थोड़ी छुट्टी हो गई थी दो साल की इस साल फिर वापस चालू किया और अच्छा परफॉर्मेंस भी है और पब्लिक का भी अच्छा क्राउड है और इस वजह से सारे सूरत के क्लासेस भरे हुए हैं मुल्तानी इज टीचिंग गरबा टू हिस्स स्टूडेंट्स इन अराजन एरिया ऑफ सूरत सिटी Many garba classes are in full swing as the people are enrolling in them to practice garba after 2 years of the pandemic 
While there are a number of Garba lessons ongoing in Surat city, Multani's classes are garnering special praise for giving out the message of harmony. He has been giving Garba training for the last 36 years and also worships Goddess Durga for 9 days. Do saal jo corona mein hamare hue uske baad jab shuru hua to wo aisa tha ki hum jail se chhute hain ye karne ke liye because ek ye best festival hai hamare liye kyunki usually garba gujaratiyon ke liye specially sabse best part hai. उनके लिए मतलब है वो पागल हो जाते हैं जैसे गरबा नवरात्रि सब सुनते हैं तो लोग तो एक एक दो दो महीने पहले से इसका सब शुरू कर देते हैं ऑर्नामेंट्स ज्वेलरीज उसके ड्रेसेस नौ दिन के अलग अलग ड्रेस वगैरह सब अरेंज करना और वो एक ऐसी चीज़ है कि कोई रुक ही नहीं सकता जैसे गाना बजे सबके पैर शुरू हो ही जाते हैं जिनको नहीं आता वो भी ऐसा थी रखना तो शुरू कर ही देते हैं दो साल से जैसे कि आपको सबको पता है कोविड 19 की वजह से हम गरबा क्लासेस नहीं जा पाए कोई ग्राउंड पे नहीं जा पाए सब लोग ने घर पे बैठ के एंजॉय किया है किसी ने घर पे बैठ के सिर्फ ऐसे ही नवरात्रि बैठे बैठे ही गुजारी है लेकिन अब जब हमें ये अपॉर्चुनिटी मिली है तो हमें इसका फुल यूज़ करना चाहिए इसी हमने आज इसी हमने आज खूब तैयारी की है हम बहुत एक्साइटेड है हमारे नवरात्रि के लिए हम जुलाई से लगे पड़े हैं इस तैयारी में Of all the places in the country, Navratri celebrations in Gujarat is always the grand one. Right now, excitement is at its peak for the upcoming Navratri owing to the Gujarati's love for Garba. Now, a roundup of some of the major stories that made news recently. To promote the usage of typewriters in an age of mobile phones and computers, a man in India's central Indore city has collected around 450 typewriters that type in different languages. Inspired by his father, who used to work for lawyers using typewriters, Rajesh Sharma developed a love for the machine at a young age. However, he started collecting typewriters when he realized they were disappearing from the country. Yes, sir. Sangra ki shuruaat maine karib 10 ek saal pehle ki. और इस वक्त संग्रह के अंदर करीब साढ़े चार सौ टाइप राइटर हैं और ये मैंने शुरुआत की थी चार पांच टाइप राइटर से और अपने भारत भारत सहित अमेरिका इंग्लैंड जर्मनी फ्रांस इटली इन देशों के टाइप राइटर हैं जापान और चाइना भी हैं उसमें शर्मा कलेक्शन रेंजेस फ्रॉम टाइप राइटर्स मेड फ्रॉम द ईयर एटीन टू ट्वेंटी द टाइप राइटर वॉज फर्स्ट पेटेंटेड इन एटीन and marketed and sold by the Remington Gun Company in 1874 they gained popularity in the early 20th century with production peaking in the mid 1970s in 1980s word processors typewriters with a memory card had relatively brief run until they were eclipsed by personal computers with word processing software An artist in India's northern Amritsar city has made a painting of Britain's Queen Elizabeth II to pay tribute to her after she passed away recently. Queen Elizabeth died on September 8th, aged 96 after a 70-year reign. She was Britain's longest serving and most travelled monarch. तो ये पेंटिंग मैं ट्रिब्यूट करता हूँ अपने इंडिया की तरफ से जब मुझे पता था पता चला था इनकी डेथ होगी तो उसके बाद मैंने पेंटिंग बनाना शुरू कर दिया था. तो एक हफ्ते में इस पेंटिंग को मैंने तैयार किया है द फाइव फुट बाई सेवन फुट पेंटिंग वॉज प्रिपेयर इन अक्स टाइम यूजिंग एक्रेलिक कलर्स कास्ट इंक्लूडिंग इंडियन एक्टर्स दलकीर सलमान एंड रोनाल ठाकुर सेलिब्रेटेड द सक्सेस ऑफ देयर पीरियड ड्रामा फिल्म सीता रमन इन द शो बिज कैपिटल ऑफ मुंबई इट टेक्स अट ऑफ कर फिल्म लाइक दिस we were both relatively uh, unknown actors in in the core telugu market i've done one film with them but uh, not strong enough to maybe lead a film or really bring in the audiences uh, to the theater on an opening day but uh, so much courage and so much faith uh, in us as actors also and also loving this script just as much as uh, hanu sir did and backing it giving it uh, all the might uh, that it needed all the love that it needed uh, made it so much care and attention 
Sita Raman, which derives its name from a Hindu mythological couple, Lord Ram and his wife Sita, orchestrates the story of an orphaned soldier who falls for a woman and tries to write to her, but the letter never reaches her. Every festival in India represents the sense of brotherhood and syncretism beholden among the diversified population of the country. Emboldening this fact, Muslim artisans from different parts of the country have started making effigies of Ravan and statues of Goddess Durga, thus contributing to the upcoming festival of Navratra and the Shara. The beauty of India lies in its ability to become a home to a number of different religions who actively participate in each other's festivals and events. With Durga Puja and Deshera preparations going on around the country, people of different religious communities have started contributing to it in different ways. In Agra city of Uttar Pradesh, Artisans have started working relentlessly to prepare the tall effigies of Ravan that will be burnt on the occasion of Deshera. From designing the structure to the final painting of the effigy parts, everything is done by them. धर्म का काम है हम तो धर्म के काम को हमेशा करते चले आए कुछ लोग जाति धर्म पे नाम नहीं हम कोई जाति धर्म नहीं ये तो हमारा ही धर्म है राम जी का और हम ऐसे वो नहीं है ये तो नेता लोग करते हैं लड़ाई झगड़ा हम लोग नहीं करते इन कटक सिटी ऑफ ओडिशा मुस्लिम आर्टिस्ट्स आर प्रिपेयरिंग एफिजीज एंड डेकोरेटिव आइटम्स ऑफ गॉडेस दुर्गा व्हिच विल बी वर्शिपड ऑन द ओकेजन ऑफ दुर्गा पूजा दिस नवरात्रि Making these effigies require a lot of dexterity as one has to assemble large parts and plan the effigy. These artisans do their work with immense dedication. Few artisans say it's their ancestral work which they are carrying forward. ये पिताजी के पिताजी कर रहे थे पिताजी के पिताजी जब कर रहे थे आज को सौ साल नब्बे साल हो जाएगा हमरे नॉलेज में है उनको ब्रिटिश अवार्ड भी मिला है दादा को दादा के दादा बाप को फिर दादा किया दादा ने फिर पिताजी किया पिताजी के बाद हम लोग कर रहे हैं अच्छा लगता है ये भाईचारा का काम है और साई में सब नए नए सेक्रेटरी प्रेसिडेंट से मिलना पड़ता है बड़े बड़े लोग से मिलना पड़ता है उन लोग से संवादित भी हम लोग होते हैं पुरस्कार देते हैं अच्छा काम में खुशी होके देते हैं कुछ और अच्छा लगता है भाईचारा का काम है तो उड़ीसा भाईचारा का देश था हम लोग का इंडिया तो चला है सब कुछ बढ़िया लगता है अच्छा लगता है The festivals of Navratri and Dashara marks the victory of good over evil thus giving a similar message of warding out social evils of hatred and violence and living together in harmony And now we will take a look at how India recently surpassed the United Kingdom to become the fifth largest economy and is still on the upward slope of development. As India commemorates 75 years of its independence, a new script is being written on the economic front. A tripartite foundation of a determined political will to take difficult decisions for the greater good. speedy implementation of fiscal objectives and a science and technology based development model have propelled India to the coveted top 5 economies of the world. India recently surpassed the United Kingdom to become the fifth biggest economy. The country's nominal GDP in the first quarter clocked over 854 billion USD against the United Kingdom's 816 billion USD in the same period. Among all major economies, India's growth at 3.83% in the 3-year period is the highest, followed by the United States at 3.78%, Canada at 2.58%, the UK at 1.06%, France at 0.68%. and Japan at negative 1.27%. What is even more significant in this achievement is the fact that India reached these numbers at a time when the world was still struggling with the economic fallout of COVID-induced shocks. The Prime Minister used the challenge of the pandemic as an opportunity of the multiple rounds of economic reforms which covered vast sectors of the economy which has deeply enhanced the productivity long-term productivity of the economy. Industrialists across the spectrum predict that by the end of the decade India will enter the rarefied air of the top 3 economies of the world. 
The major components of the business support package included financial measures for micro, small, and medium-sized enterprises. Instead of providing cash handouts, the additional support was provided in the form of concessional credits to farmers, as well as a credit facility for street vendors. India's incredible pace of immunization proved instrumental in its economic resurgence. After a sharp contraction in the first quarter since the COVID outbreak, and a moderate contraction in the following months, the Indian economy registered a sharp V-shaped growth trajectory. The Production Linked Incentive Scheme, PLI, was launched to develop an incentive-based model to boost domestic manufacturing. Analysts believe that PLI can contribute up to 4% to the GDP annually in terms of incremental revenue. Digital India led from the front during the COVID distress when India distributed nearly 5 billion USD in cash benefits to the impoverished, direct to their accounts. The country was already on a digital first trajectory with one of the highest volumes of digital transactions in the world when the pandemic struck and further propelled the use of contactless digital technology. India is now clocking around 100 million digital transactions a day with a volume of 67 billion USD about a five times jump from 2016. A World Economic Forum 2020 report says the use of digital technology led to savings of nearly 23 billion USD, 98% of this by eliminating erroneous beneficiaries. What it is uh, telling you in the broader context, leaving aside the UK the specific thing, is that India is moving up the power scale. And uh, according to uh, my earlier forecast, by uh, 28 to 30, we will become the third largest uh, country. Those who have invested in the India story have more to look forward to. The PM Gati Shakti is a master plan for coordinating implementation of infrastructure projects, with around 16 ministries on board to coordinate seamless transportation of goods and other services. The scheme's rapid implementation is moving at the same pace of growth as the country's rapidly accelerating economy. It is also reducing travel time for people across the country. In addition to emphasis on building infrastructure projects like highways, bridges, ports and airports, the government is also giving priority to build special economic zones to provide an internationally competitive and hassle-free environment for exports. Reduction in restrictive compliances, a strong infrastructure foundation, an educated workforce, and one of the largest markets in the world, sends a strong message to investors around the world. India is open for business. And in the end, we bring you a few short stories about the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section of World in Focus. Crowds formed in Tehran to mark the religious festival of Arbain. People thronged a central walkway as grills smoked under food and young children created art to celebrate the Shiite festival. As we are in the past, 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 we are in the The Irbain festival marks the end of a 40 day mourning period for Imam Hussein, the grandson of the Prophet Muhammad. Imam Hussein died in the Battle of Karbala in AD 680, which cemented schism in Islam between Shiites and Sunnis. Shiites make up nearly 15% of the world's Muslims. Artificial intelligence is shaping humanity across nearly all spheres and industries. Japanese company AI Inside is one of the most progressive artificial intelligence firms that is providing artificial intelligence solutions to people and firms all over the world. The services provided by AI Inside include the DX suit, which enables digitizing information from paper documents, analog date to digital ones. <laughs> 日本で 60% 
業務効率化に寄与するようなプロダクトになっているかなというふうに思います。AI Inside was also selected as a part of Asia Digital Transformation Project. The project aims practical implementation of digital innovation in the society to help solving socio-economic issues in ASEAN countries. AI Inside is becoming a major contributor towards faster, reliable, and a more convenient source of information and technology all around the world. One of the stars of Dodge's North American International Auto Show lineup is its Charger Daytona SRT EV, a vehicle being billed as the world's first all-electric muscle car. The two-door coupe features four-seat interior, multi-speed transmission, 16-inch digital gauge cluster, and an addition called the R-Wing. So this is、uh, the new generation of electrified muscle cars, fully electric. It happens to be a two-door coupe. Uh, with beautiful lines that harken back to our our our,、uh, our, our muscle car days.、Yeah. Dodge wasn't only the automaker making waves with concept cars at the Motor City's Auto Show. Lincoln also brought out a pair of visitors from the future in their Lincoln Model L 100 and Star Concept SUV. Both vehicles boast a see-through front, wrap-around seating, and reclined lounge posture. The Model L100 even features an all-digital floorboard. Designers say is meant to help put passengers in a positive state of mind. This is a racing car designed and manufactured by a young university student who aims of becoming an engineer. The Formula SAE Japan 2022 is an opportunity for students. To develop skills for object creation, Monozukuri, which will contribute to the expansion of the industry, 69 teams will enter the competition and participate in various events for five days. Kuruma no sezo kate no setkei shou de attari, ato sono tsukutta kuruma o dou uru ka っていうプレゼンテーション、あとはその車を作るにどれぐらいの価格が必要だったかっていうコストっていう性的な審査と、あと今今日やっている、えー、走行のテストの2種目で大きく争っています。Young engineers backed up by automotive giants and first-hand industry interface will be becoming a major participant and contributor to the automotive industry on a global level. That's all we have for you this week. Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback at myindia at anin.com. I'm your host, Uzma, and it's goodbye from the entire production team. Subscribe Tag TV YouTube channel and press the notification button.